Welcome to Spit Bucket. We've got Andrew Graham from Cracker Wines, and okay. he's brought three wines for us to have a look at. We did have a sneak preview of the uh, we did. Star Lane. And now we're doing this uh, on the 60 second rule uh, to bring you to uh, a bit like your auctions, time ticks down. Yeah, so we've fine. only got 60 seconds to review each of these wines. I'm assured if we go over, Madame Lash will be there uh, and we'll be in real <laughs> trouble. Um, okay, Twig, give us a, a uh, oh, we've got the, the first, uh, is, that, is that to go? All right, we're away. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lovely, savoury, Cool climate, Beechworth Shiraz style. Um, medium bodied, elegant, um, lovely, lovely fine tannins. It, it's got balance and it's got concentration, mm. um, but it's certainly not over the top and it just flows beautifully. It's got a little bit of complexity from the age. Mm -hmm. um, it's a wonderful wine, still got a long time to go. Definitely. Um, it is just a, a terrific. Yeah, very complex and complete style of wine, I think, and very much the antithesis of what you traditionally say the South Australian Shiraz style Ab is. Absolutely. I mean, you, in fact, if you're from the Barossa or McLaren Vale, you're going to be looking at that thinking, we got, we've got some work to do, because <laughs> that, that's a real challenge. Um, anyway, Madame Lash has waved the, uh, the clock, so... Uh, OK, three points as to why we like the wine. Uh, I'll start. The three the reasons why I like this wine is it's a, a lovely savoury wine and I think it's very dry and also great food wine. Uh, another reason why I think is because it's quite medium bodied. Uh, and the third style I think is, is because it's got lovely, lovely dry tannins. I, it had, I mean for me, the intensity, the finesse mm -hmm. um, and that seamlessness. Straight into the next one. Um, let's, let's have a well. How's the clock going? Are we ready to go? Okay, so this is this is probably the the exact opposite to the Star Lane. I mean, we're talking about uh, 2006, which is an excellent year McLaren Vale, a rich, chocolatey sort of meaty, plump and round, full flavoured style of Shiraz. It's that chocolatey character, the yeah, big, definitely. bold, in your face. Um, Lots of flavour, lots of heart. This is all about sort of much warmer climate. This is all about lots of big flavours. It's a bit, it's that plush, generous style. Um, uh, very comfortable sort of wine, totally, yeah, totally. different style. Um, to me, the Star Lane's easier to match with food. Mm -hmm. um, I, I like this because of that, the lovely rich chocolate flavours, the, the comfort. Mm. Um, I, I like, I just love that, yeah, the big plush roundness. I love the, the sort of the, also how smooth and, and, and sort of ripe it is, and also just how approachable it is straight off. Okay, now the three points as to why we like this. Uh, I guess say because it's lovely and full bodied, lots of power and lots of flavour. Um, it's nice and smooth and ripe and round. Um, and also it's just already upfront and beautiful. It's the big chocolatey style. It's, it's typical of its region, McLaren Vale. It's a nice, plush, comfortable wine. Yep. Third wine, Merops Cabernet Merlot from 2007, Margaret River. 2007, a fantastic yeah. vintage over there. This is a tiny little estate, tiny little estate. This is actually organic in conversion too. So they're only a couple of years off full organic certification. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it, a tiny little estate, but just one of these little boutique operations, you sort of find it and just like, yeah, this is great. Okay, clock is ticking. All right. Righto. And immediately you can sort of see that. Completely different. Very yeah, absolutely different. You know, that quite elegant sort of cool climate, Margaret River style. You can taste there's a cabernet and the cigar box character. Yeah, exactly. It's just really nice to see this sort of medium bodied flavours, but also lots of like quite a lot of intensity of tannins through the finish. Um, yeah, it's quite a serious wine actually, considering that it's at the moment I think it's only selling at auction for about fifteen bucks. So we, we've got a big crack in the spit bucket. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be spitting much more. It's going to be leaking. Um, uh, do I get extra time for that? No, okay. Um, <laughs> much different tannins. I mean, the previous one, very, very fine tannins, a bit plusher. This one's drier, Grainy, more obvious, definitely. more four, four square. Um, but a lot, I mean, it's, it's a very pleasant drink. It's a different sort of style. Mm. Um, Bridal Margaret River sort of cabinet. Yeah. And there we are. Three reasons. Okay, so I love the, the love the grainy tannins on this. Mm -hmm. uh, the other one I like is it has the, that beautiful uh, Marga River Cabernet sort of ar aromatics on it. Uh, and the third one, it's nice and dry and savoury. Yep, the, uh, the lovely uh, uh, cigar box aromas, mm, uh, the, the, the sort of medium bodied mm -hmm. uh, classic uh, Marga River style. Uh, and it's, look, yeah, yeah, three. Um, and it's, uh, it's got a long way to go. Definitely. Yeah, it's, it's fascinating uh, wine. Back to rate the wines very quickly. 
star line? Uh, look, oh, I think I'd give it like a 94 or 95, depending on how generous I'm feeling. What about you, Ken? I'm certainly a 94. Um, I think that's an absolutely stunning wine. Definitely. Uh, I'm going to say 93. I'm, I'm down about 90 for that one, I okay. think, uh, for me. I think it's, it's a nice wine, but it, that, one's, yeah, that one's got the gong today. For me, about 89 with that film. I reckon I'm going to agree with you there, Ken, 89. There we go. Andrew, thank you so much thank for much, coming Ken. on Split Pleasure. Bucket. Uh, it's been great having you, and good luck with Cracker. We'll, uh, we'll be keeping an eye on it, seeing how it goes. Yes. And uh, you put up that too often, and uh, we might actually be on there. <laughs> so it's crackerwines.com.au. Thank you. And remember, we spit so you don't have to.